Hi, this is JP from Know the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to the last episode of the Mutant Genesis uh, expansion playthroughs, and this time we are playing with Kitty Pride, Shadow Cat, uh, with the pre built aggression deck against Magneto. So, uh, Magneto is the last scenario in the box, and uh, I think we are bound for a, a rough time against Magneto, but uh, we'll see how this goes. So, I have set up the scenario. Uh, we start with uh, Magneto. So Magneto has the tough, and then we had to put the, in the setup, put the orbital decay uh, uh, set uh, set aside, and we have the boarding party side scheme in play. And these are double sided, so they will. We need to advance these to have better chance against Magneto. So, uh, last thing I'll do is I'll just flip this, so we are ready to start, so... Uh, uh, just to mention, every time after Magneto attacks you, place one magnet counter on the main scheme. So we uh, put magnet counters on here. So first, after you place a magnet counter on this scheme, if you are at least if you have at least three magnet counters here, discard cards from the encounter deck until a magnetic card is discarded. Reveal that card and then remove three magnet counters from this scheme. So this will make our life a bit more uh, difficult, but we'll see how this goes. So uh, that is everything. Uh, best of luck to Kitty Pride against Magneto. So let's get started. Okay, and uh, just to remind, this is a blind playthrough, so I haven't played Magneto before. I have played Kitty Pride a couple of times now, but still learning the card. So if I make any horrendous mistakes, uh, let me know. So just uh, giving these decks a bit of a shuffle before we start. Uh, so uh, I think it's pretty clear. Um, Magneto cannot have more than 6 damage per player or sustained damage. Uh, so Magneto has 18 health. So we need to advance that to deal more damage to Magneto. So we can't just uh, damage rush down Magneto. We really need to have some thwarting going on for that. And uh, just a small spoiler, uh, the other side reads uh, 12 sustained damage, otherwise the same. When defeated, uh, we reveal the orbital decay and put this into the victory display. So, uh, that is a clear goal for us. Uh, we are ready to begin. So, let's see. Um, we have the mass upgrade on solid. So, we draw our opening hand of 6 cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we get toe to toe, shadow cut surprise, quick shift, uh, face and confuse, team strike and acute control. Well, not a lot of uh, thwarting stuff going on, so. Um. So I think. I, I could give the face and confuse to buy me some time. Yeah, so I'm getting rid of toe to toe and team strike. Keep the rest. We'll see what we get. So two cards. So we get this room and team strike. So I'll just play the kitty's room. I'll flip. I will thwart for two here. Then, um, we 
still use solid and uh, acute control. Play Shadow Surprise, we deal 3 damage to an enemy, we ready our hero. Oh, actually, uh, I forgot Magneto has tough. So, we'll just remove the tough. Then we still ready our hero, we'll flip this, so... After you attack or defend in a phased mass form, flip this card so we can't uh, take any damage when defending. Okay. And uh, I'll just play this to draw two cards. Okay, uh, Airwalk is good. So I'll just play Airwalk. Remove this. So this flips. And uh, we have. No, no, no. Uh, let's back up. We'll do this. Uh, we'll thwart. So this flips. Then we'll air walk. Remove four from here. So this goes away. We get this into play. And now Magneto can take 18 sustained damage. So we just uh, destroyed uh, the Sabotage Master Mold. Well, first the boarding party. Uh, then we defeated the Sabotage Master Mold. Now we have the Orbital Decay for next round. And now we can deal uh, enough damage to uh, advance to phase 2 with Magneto. I have still have this in hand. And uh, I think I'll discard it. That's a bit slow because Magneto can't get confused uh, easily because it has the steady. So that is everything we ready up. We draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And just double checking. Airwalk says threat from a scheme, not a main scheme. And in phase form we remove four, so we played that correctly. So we have uh, Shadowcat Surprise, Strength, Expansion, Attack Training, and Gatekeeper. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Magneto attacks, and uh, I need to defend for not take any damage. So I'll just defend. So Magneto hits for 2, plus 1 is 0 because we don't take any damage, so this flips to solid. Uh, we'll place, uh, still have to place the 1 mag magnet counter here. Uh, we'll get an encounter card. It is Shadows of the Past. Well, that sucks. So we get the White Queen, the Hellfire Club, and a couple of Hellfire Pawns, and the Telepathic Restraints shuffled in here. So <clears throat> this became quite difficult now. So uh, the White King Queen has Villainous. Uh, while White Queen is engaged with you, you are confused. Well, so we can't get rid of the confused, so we just need to get rid of the White Queen somehow. Then uh, the Hellfire Club, uh, a lot of text. Uh, when defeated, the player who defeated this team searches a counter deck, discard pile, and set aside area for a copy of the Hellfire Pawn minion and puts it into play, engaged with them, shuffle. And we have an acceleration token. So that and that has only two, but we don't have a way to thwart at the moment. So we need to figure out how to get rid of that. Okay. Well, that that was a rocket start for us and also for Magneto. But that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, um, we have to think a bit how we want to do stuff. So... I 
think I'll play the gatekeeper on white queen. So white queen gains some health, but we are not defeating a white queen yet. And uh, I'll use strength to play the expansion. Uh, I mean strength to play the expansion. I'll use solid and uh, attack training to play shadow cast surprise. I'll deal 3 damage to an enemy. I'll ready my hero because this flips. Uh, yeah, so 3 damage to the white queen. Then uh, we deal 5 damage total by attacking the white queen. And uh, that is it. We'll have to defeat with the White Queen next round. So, one, two, three, four, five. Face Strike, Lockheed, Energy, Colossus, and Magic. We'll go to the villain phase. We add two threats here. Magneto attacks. I will defend. Uh, two plus uh, give Magneto a tough status card and face down boost card. Okay. So we don't take any damage, so this flips. Uh, White Queen attacks with Willana, so 1 plus uh, boost. If, 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 if this is an attack that defeats an ally, plays one magnet card or a main skin. Well, no, it isn't. So we only take 1 damage. Okay, and that is everything uh, from the attacks, and then we get an encounter card. It is Master of Magnetism. Uh, when revealed, uh, take the topmost magnetic card in the encounter discard pile and give it to Magneto as a face down boost card. Magneto activates against you. This is starting to hurt, so we get the metal shards. That's not that bad. So, uh, Magneto attacks. We have no way of defending at the moment, so... Just double checking, so this might be really painful. So we are taking a lot of damage here, so... 2 plus put the Hellfire Pawn into playing gates with you. Uh, if this is an attack, uh, defeats an ally decent, and give Magneto tough status card face down boost card, okay. So we take only two damage, but we get another, we get a help fire pawn, which is a bit troublesome. But yeah, that is everything, so that is the villain phase, let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, well, uh, we have to figure out how to uh, deal with everything. So, unfortunately the Hellfire Pawn has a guard and patrol, but that doesn't stop Kitty Pride or Shadow Cat. But we really want to defeat the White Queen. So, um, we are in Solid. If we play Lockheed, Solid mass form deal two damage to an enemy, so that would defeat the White Queen. So we could uh, get rid of all of that. But I'm just double checking. So, so we need to be in phased mass form for that. So we could still remove do uh, all from here. I think that sounds good. So we'll play Lockheed. Defeat White Queen. So, uh, when a touch minion is defeated, remove fraud threat from the main scheme. Damn. Okay, so read the cards better next time. We'll back up. Okay, uh, we need to attack first to. 
uh, change this. So I'll use that and energy to play phase strike, deal six damage to an enemy. If you are in a phase mass form, you may discard an attachment. Yeah, okay, so we are not. We'll just defeat this guy. And this flips. And now we can uh, use magic and Colossus to play a Lockheed. Defeat this. Oh yeah. Uh, it doesn't work yet. So yeah, we now we are in the <laughs> wrong phase. We are faced now, so okay, we'll just remove one from here and we'll just uh, walk this away and uh, set us up there. Okay, so I'm just searching the, this deck so we don't get this guy later. So another Hellfire Pawn. Next round, we'll try to defeat the White Queen. So the White Queen has still 5 health. Oh, I mean 2 health remaining from the Gatekeeper. Okay, so we get this guy. Okay. And uh, Lockheed has 1 damage on it. Then. I think that's everything. We ready up. Draw back up to one, two, three, four, five. Uh, we get face and confused attack training, Wolverine, weak shift, and aggressive energy. We'll go to the villain face. Uh, this unfortunately advances to the two counters here. So. Okay, so this advanced. So we get uh, Factory Online. When revealed, place one magnet counter here. So we lost a couple that we had. But we have one here. Just placed here. If Sabotage Master Mold is not in the victory display, the hit, uh, first player says encounter, they can discard pile for a copy of the M Times Sentinel and Minion and reveals it, but uh, it is in the victory display, so we don't do that. Uh, then, uh, Factory Online forces one of you place a magnet counter on this scheme. If there are at least magnet, three magnet counters here, discard cards from the encounter deck until the magnetic card is discarded and reveal that card, then remove three magnet counters from this. Scheme comes into play with one. Okay. So then Magneto attacks. I will defend. So we get these two. Exhaust each ally you control. Well, that sucks. Exhaust your identity. Well, we are ex exhausted. But we'll take no damage. This flips. Uh, White Queen attacks. I can't defend. Uh, three damage. We are down to three. So this guy hits us for two. Down to one. So we're nearly dead. And encounter card is Master of Magnetism. Take the topmost magnetic card in the encounter discard pile and give it to Magneto as a base down. And counter card or boost card. So magnetic magnetically scaled. Okay. And that is it. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay. Uh, there are some tough decisions here now. So we need to. Uh, I think we need to play Wolverine. 
defeat the White Queen and uh, go to Alter Ego to heal. Yeah, so I'm using Quick Shift. Aggressive energy. Actually, I'm using... Oh, yeah, I, I may have played this for or not. There's something else than an attack or defense event, but okay. Again, new cards. Uh, didn't mean to. So we used these to play Wolverine. I'll hit and defeat the White Queen with Wolverine. We remove four threat from here. This, oh no, it's again the main scheme. So bad timing for this, but it is what it is. And uh, Wolverine takes two consequential damage. Okay, so we're not, not confused because we're only confused while White Queen is engaged you were confused. So I think the confused goes away. Correct me if I'm wrong, but only while I I'm not sure. So we defeat we didn't defeat this. Damn it. Okay. We have to go to Alter Ego. And we'll heal two. Then uh, uh, we'll heal one damage from mutant, which is uh, that's a dragon or X Men. So one damage from a mutant or X Men character. Any player who's under against mutant trait may trigger this ability. So. We will be healing more with Kitty, so I think I will keep this guy around a bit longer. And that is it. So, after my turn begins, we heal Wolverine. So we're ready. Uh, we draw one, two, three, four, five, six. We get uh, Shedakat Surprise, Gatekeeper Touch 2, Toe to Toe, Aggressive Energy, and Toe to Toe. We'll go to the Villain Phase. We add one threat over here. Magneto Schemes for 2 plus. Uh, exhaust each ally you control. Well, we knew that was coming. So 3. And this guy schemes for one, so we're at five on the main scheme. Then we get an encounter card. It is Senuyaka, and uh, it is an Acolyte with one scheme, three attack with an asterisk, three health, teamwork, Acolyte. Uh, Senuyaka attacks against Piercing when defeated. The player who defeated Senuyaka is stunned. If they are already stunned, they take three damage. Well, just to remind what teamwork means is that after a minion with teamwork enters play and engages a player, if there is at least one other minion that shares the specific, uh, specified trade in play, each minion that shares the teamwork keyword in the same specific trade activates against the player if it, engage, if it, is, in, it is engaged with. So luckily there are no acolytes in play, so we got the break there. But, uh, yeah, that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, so my turn begins. So we heal one damage from Wolverine. We heal one damage from here. We heal two damage. And uh, we will heal up to full. We'll flip. Uh, then... Um, uh, 
we will play <clears throat> uh, I think I'll play the Shadow got surprise on the Senyoko. No, first uh, we'll defeat the Hellfire Pawn. So we get rid of that. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, I spent one gatekeeper on that guy. Actually, yeah. We play another gatekeeper on this guy. So this guy has now 5 health. But we will throw, throw this guy. Oh yeah, and this flipped. So I'll play uh, toe to toe. So uh, um, this guy uh, choose an enemy that enemy attacks you deal five damage to that enemy. So we take three damage. Then we deal enough damage to defeat it, but that means we get stunned. That's okay. Uh, we can remove uh, four threat from the main scheme. That buys us some more time. We have one total to Joe in hand, so we'll just ready, draw back up to five. We get team strike, uh, ready to rumble, attack training, uh, ready to rumble, and we have the toe to toe. We'll go to the villain phase, we add one threat here. Uh, Magneto attacks. I will defend with Kitty Pride. So we take zero because we are in phase, but this flips. But we'll add one here, we get an encounter card. Magneto's armor. So attached to Magneto, Magneto cannot be stunned. Hero response after your hero makes a base attack against Magneto. Spend these resources. Discard this card. He gives plus one attack to Magneto. Well, that is that. So that is that round. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, well, we'll heal one damage from Wolverine again. Uh, then I will hit the top of of Magneto. I will play ready to rumble using the attack training. No. Using uh, Yeah, we'll just play the ready to rumble with the other ready to rumble. Then I'll play attack training on the Wolverine with the team strike. I will then hit with Wolverine, dealing. Uh, so Wolverine has plus one attack and plus two hit points. So Wolverine hits for four damage here. Takes two consequential. Then I will solely use the solid to toe to toe Magneto. So Magneto attacks me for three plus two is five. Ouch. I forgot. <laughs> I'm, I'm nearly dead. And then I transform, I get to ready. And I will thwart 
two from here. Oh yeah, I think I have to go back. Yeah, because the toe to toe only removed the stun, so I messed up. And we didn't take the pie because Magneto didn't attack and uh, we didn't add anything there. So, And I didn't change form, so yeah. Making a mess of things here. So, uh, let's see, we removed the stun, so Magneto didn't attack, but uh, Wolverine hit for four there, so I think we're correct now. Yeah, so uh, we draw back up to five, one, two, three, four, five, we get an extra card, card. So we have genius, uh, intangible interference. Shadow and Steel, ready to rumble and airwalk. Let's, uh, shuffle these. Okay. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat here. Magneto attacks. I will defend with Sarah. Um, I will defend with the uh, Lockheed. Oh no, I will defend with Shadow Cats. So 3 plus 0 is 3, minus 2 is 1. Damage, we flip. Uh, then we get two encounter cards. First one is permanently based. So give the, the kitty pride player. Flip your mass from upgrade to faced. Uh, flip your mass form upgrade to faced. You cannot attack, defend, or change mass form. Alter ego action, exhaust kitty pride, remove permanency phase from the game. Well, that sucks. Then we get metal shot, so. Deal one damage to each character you control, place one magnet counter on the main scheme. Oh, damn. So uh, we remove those and we get the this one as a face down boost card or uh, reveal that card. So your action, you are stunned. Take one damage, so it's magnet counter on the main scheme. So that's zero. We get stunned. We also got one damage to each character we control, so Lockheed is dead, down to 4, Wolverine takes 1, and that is everything, so at least, uh, yeah, we can't do this in the alter or uh, villain phase, but yeah, that is the villain phase, let's go to the next hero phase, well, we are in a uh, Bit of a pickle, so we'll heal Wolverine for one damage. You're stunned. Hmm. So so permanently faced. You cannot attack, defend, or change mass form. Okay, well that sucks. We'll head to alter. Well, we'll, we'll first air walk. Get rid of this. And uh, Wolverine will actually port this away. So this comes into play now. So, uh, physical strain um, and uh, attachment condition attached to Magneto permanent. Magneto loses steady. Okay. Then we'll go to Alter Ego. And next round, let's see. We'll draw a card. 
will heal one. Just play this. Uh, discard this and draw. Well, that is our turn. Ready up. Next round, we can get rid of this. We get Colossus, uh, Face Strike. We get Strength, uh, Face and Confused. Gate Creep, and we have Genius. We'll go to the Villain Face. We add one face here. Magnet Magneto schemes for two plus exhaust your identity for fuck's sake. Sorry about my <laughs> French, but that sucks. Uh, yeah. And uh, well, we're at four here. And we get a card with this. Another acolyte, Unusione. Uh, it is two scheme to attack teamwork. At acolyte toughness. When defeated, give the villain a tough status card. If the villain already has a tough status card, heal to four damage. Okay. Ah, well, that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Well, let's see what we can do now. So. I think I'm just playing Colossus. And uh, we'll just put this over here. And that is everything because we can't really. Well, we held Wolverine. So, Wolverine actually. Uh, let's not put this on anything. Wolverine will just hit this, kill this, because Wolverine has piercing, so this guy gets tough. So when defeated, give the villain a tough status car, if the villain already has a tough status car, heal for them. So we'll just put the, that over there. We'll heal one damage from Wolverine. We will draw a card, and we'll put attack training. On to Colossus. Oh yeah, Colossus cost one less. Well, I don't give a damn. I have plenty of cards here that I can't use. So we'll actually do it like this. So we'll save the genius and use this. Okay, we ready? We draw back up to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We get uh, magic. Team strike, attack training, team strike, genius, and face strike. And. Uh, oh, yeah, Colossus has toughness. Okay, hopefully, we won't get exhausted this time. Hopefully. So, we add one threat to the main scheme, Magneto schemes for two, plus two, so this advances. The rule of Magnus, when revealed, place two magnet counters here. If physical training is not attached to Magneto, the first player searches the counter, they can discard pile for a magnetic attachment and it reveals it. Well, physical strain is on Magneto, so we get two magnet counters here. The rule of Mag Magnus. Force response after you place the magnet counter on this scheme. If there are at least three magnet counters available, if this stage is completed, players lose the game. Okay. Then uh, we get an encounter card. It is Magneto's helmet. So Magneto gets plus one scheme. So that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, well, I will exhaust to get rid of this damn card. It goes out of play. And uh, I will actually change my form to solid to heal, to damage. 
heal one more damage. Oh yeah, Wolverine heal. So I'll just put it there. We'll flip to hero. I'll play team strike uh, with his an attack, but uh, that removes the stun. We will play phase strike with genius and team strike. Hit uh, six damage on. Oh, yeah. Well, first off, we will hit with Wolverine. Four damage, remove the tough because of piercing. Then we'll do the face strike and actually save this uh, team strike card. By using the solid, so we deal six. Now, uh, I'll just hit with Colossus, taking the top off and hitting Magneto to face two. Steady toughness, when revealed, deal each player and face down and counter card. After Magneto attacks you, blah blah blah. And uh, 20. Twenty damage away. So close. Still so far. <laughs> okay. Forgot to put the threat over there. Okay. Let's see. And uh, yeah, uh, this flips because I played a attack. So we get to ready to rumble. And, uh, well, now I don't have an ally to exhaust. But, uh, at least we can get rid of the tough. Okay. So, this flips again. So, let's ready up. And, uh, I'll just discard this. One, two, three, four, five. Looking for some attack events to just whittle down. Magneto, phase strike, great. Uh, quick shift, uh, acute control, and phase and confused. Well, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat over here. Magneto attacks. I will defend. Uh, three, four, plus. Uh, 5, minus 3, uh, so we take 3 damage, this flips, and we get 2 encounter cards. The Acolytes, so each Acolyte minion gains a guard, Magnetic Missile Search, when revealed, the Eta Sentinel minion in play, then they fight damage. Mediscard, well, this just searches. Okay, so this guy has guard okay so that is the villain phase let's go to the next hero phase okay well mm, we heal one damage from wolverine so oh yeah um, well, wolverine will just kill off this guy Then uh, Colossus will hit for 4 here. I will face strike using aggression. Uh, acute control and... Uh, I'll actually, before that, I will draw 2 cards. Okay, great. Let's see now. So, face strike. 
using aggressive and that and that. We deal six, we flip, and we get to remove. Uh, I'll remove the cloak with the face strike. Uh, hero action, remove stuffy uh, stuff from somewhere. So I remove the the cloak. Then uh, uh, we play Shadow Cat Surprise. Deal three damage. He actually dealt one more damage from uh, the face kick with because we used the um, aggressive energy. So that attack deals one additional damage. So we are at nine and we are down to six. So we're really close. That is everything. We'll go to the. Oh yeah, this flips. We we'll go to the villain phase. Two, three, four, five. Airwalk, energy, toe to toe, gatekeeper, and aggressive energy. So that's great. Uh, we'll put one here. Oh, yeah, there's three there. Just ignore that. Um, yeah, so Magneto attack, Shadow Cat defense. Uh, we take no damage because this flips, and then and then um, we get two encounter cards. First one is M times Sentinel Guard, well, of course. Then we have Magnetic Mayhem. Okay, so we need to kill this guy. Well, it's easy. That I think we can win next round, but yeah. So this has when defeated, but we're not defeating that. So that is that round. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, well, uh, I think this is the last turn of the game. So... I will toe to toe the M type Sentinel. So I'll play it with solid. So it hits uh, for 2 damage. Then I'll deal 5 damage to it. Then I'll just air walk so we get rid of 4 from here. Then uh, this get, gets tough from the M type Sentinel, but we were in. Heals, hits for a couple of damage, removes the top, hits for four, and Colossus hits for for defeating Magneto. So we're actually able to defeat Magneto, uh, I think, uh, if I made some critical error somewhere, uh, let me know, but I think I played it uh, correctly, uh, made a couple of mistakes here and there, but fixed it immediately. But uh, if you noticed something, let me know. Again, this is a blind playthrough. And still, I'm really surprised I managed to be beat Magneto on the first try with Kitty Pride, uh, aka Shadow Cat. This is a really strong, um, um, even true solo uh, pre built aggression deck. I haven't seen those a lot uh, so far. But that is the. Mutant Genesis expansion. I may do a roundup video, so which in which I will talk about its scenario and these starter decks a bit more. So hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching, and until next time.